Dollar Custom Prescription Education Finishing Part 1 Behind the Design Finishing Part 1 This section of the presentation will explore additions and extensions, including metatarsal domes, metatarsal bars, forefoot varus and valgus extensions, Morton's extensions, reverse Morton's extensions, heel pads, arch pads, and forefoot extensions. Behind the design, metatarsal dome. This client needed a custom orthotic with the addition of a metatarsal dome for symptomatic forefoot pathologies. They chose the size and location of the dome via treatment directed testing of a prefabricated metatarsal dome. The right dome was also customised with a cutout. The aim of this orthotic was to reduce the forefoot symptoms. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They used the metatarsal dome size and position section within the finishing section of the Dollar Detail Prescription Form. Key features of this selection included the treatment directed testing of the metatarsal dome size, which was based on foot morphology and pathology location. They also selected the metatarsal dome position based on treatment directed testing and reduction of symptoms. The left metatarsal dome was left in its standard shape whereas the right metatarsal dome was customised with a cutout. Ortho tip. A metatarsal dome is commonly used to influence forefoot pressures, forefoot function and reduce forefoot symptoms. Common pathologies include metatarsalgia or generalised forefoot pain, capsulitis, neuritis, bursitis or neuroma. Alternative prescription options include a metatarsal bar, a pour on forefoot extension or a customised EVA forefoot extension. Behind the design, metatarsal dome size. The dollar prescription form has four size options listed below. They can be purchased for treatment directed testing and are a slightly reduced height for clinical applications. Behind the design, metatarsal dome location. Key features of this selection include the prescription of the exact location for the metatarsal dome. The apex of the dome can be placed at a metatarsal head 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 or in an ID space 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. How to prescribe your metatarsal dome location. You can use the metatarsal dome script form by marking a single number for an apex or two numbers for an ID space i.e. 2, 3. You can also mark it on your cast or scan or use a template. Behind the design, intrinsic metatarsal dome. This is an alternative prescription option which involves the reduced fill or no fill between metatarsals 2 to 4 on your positive cast or in your CAD design. This will make an intrinsic metatarsal dome in the orthotic shell material. Caution! An intrinsic metatarsal dome in a poly or 3D printed shell cannot be easily adjusted or removed. If you plan for adjustment, please use an extrinsic addition of a metatarsal dome pad. In an EVA shell, the intrinsic dome can be ground away after removal of the top cover. Behind the design, metatarsal bar. This client needed a custom orthotic with the addition of a metatarsal bar to decrease general forefoot pressures. The size and location of the bar was treatment directed tested. The position was selected in a pre-metatarsal position. The aim of this orthotic was to reduce the forefoot pressures. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the size of the metatarsal bar using the finishing section of the detailed prescription form and marked the location of the metatarsal bar on their scan. Key features of a metatarsal bar include it can be treatment directed testing from pre made sizes. The selection of the metatarsal bar size is based on foot morphology and pathology. The selection of metatarsal bar position can be based on the pathology and options include a pre-metatarsal or a metatarsal position. Metatarsal bars can also be customised with cutouts, slots and divots. Ortho tip. A metatarsal bar is a rectangular shaped extrinsic addition tapered from an anterior high point to a posterior low point. It uses the material properties of poron and the shape of the pad and position of the pad applied to provide cushioning and mechanical change in symptomatic areas. 
It can be used to influence forefoot pressures, forefoot function and symptoms. It is commonly used in pathologies including metatarsalgia or general forefoot pain, capsulitis, neuritis, bursitis, neuroma, fat pad injury or fat pad displacement. Alternative options include a metatarsal dome, a pore on forefoot extension or a customised EVA forefoot extension. Behind the design, metatarsal bar size. Metatarsal bars are available in the dollar prescription form in three different sizes, with the details below. They are a reduced height size for increased clinical applications. Behind the design, metatarsal bar position. Key features of this selection include the prescription of your metatarsal bar position. Options include a pre-metatarsal position, where the anterior border sits behind the metatarsal heads. Its primary influence will be on the metatarsal shafts. Or the metatarsal position, where the bulk of the pad is directly under the metatarsal heads. Behind the design, forefoot valgus extension. This client needed a custom orthotic to facilitate sagittal plane function at the first MPJ during gait. They needed the orthotic to promote a high gear toe off and to improve windless function. The aim of this orthotic was to improve the propulsion phase of gait. They used the dollar custom orthotic service. They selected the number of degrees for the forefoot valgus extension in the finishing section of the dollar detailed prescription form. Key features of a forefoot valgus extension include it is constructed out of EVA and transitions posteriorly from the calc cuboid region and extends anteriorly to either the sulcus or full length. Its width is from the fifth metatarsal to the second and it is thicker laterally under the fifth and tapers to thin under the second, which equals a valgus wedge. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell or it can be an intrinsic design feature on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A forefoot valgus extension can be used to support a rigid forefoot valgus, to plantar flex the first ray, to improve propulsion, first MPJ function, or improve the windless mechanism, provide a lateral orthotic reaction force, or provide a pronatory moment. Alternative prescription options include a first metatarsal cutout, a first ray cutout, or a reverse Morton's extension. Behind the design, forefoot varus extension. This client needed a custom orthotic to support a unilateral rigid forefoot varus. The aim of this orthotic was to reduce pathomechanical function and various compensations. They used the dollar custom orthotic service. They selected the number of degrees for their forefoot varus extension in the finishing section of the dollar detailed prescription form. Key features of a forefoot varus extension include it is an EVA extension that transitions posteriorly from the medial longitudinal arch and blends with its profile. It extends anteriorly to either the sulcus or full length. Its width is from the first metatarsal to the fourth. It is thicker medially under the first and tapers to thin under the fourth, which equals a varus wedge. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three quarter length poly EVA or 3D printed shell, or it can be an intrinsic design feature on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A forefoot varus extension can be used to support a rigid forefoot varus, stabilise the first, provide a medial orthotic reaction force, or a supinatory moment. It is recommended that this addition be treatment directed tested with either a dollar forefoot wedge or wedge strip. Behind the design, EVA Morton's extension. This client needed a custom EVA orthotic to support a rigid dorsiflex first post-surgical fixation. The aim of this orthotic was to reduce pathomechanical function and compensations. They used the dollar custom orthotic service. They selected the EVA thickness required for the Morton's extension in the finishing section of the dollar detailed prescription form. Key features of the EVA Morton's extension include the addition of EVA under the first metatarsal head extending from the medial longitudinal arch. It will cross the first MPJ and extend to the sulcus, or the full length of the hallux crossing the IPJ and beyond. The addition will match the width of the hallux following the anatomical flare, and the EVA thickness of the Morton's extension is as scripted. 
It can be an extrinsic addition to a three-quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell or an intrinsic design feature on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. An EVA Morton's extension provides material thickness under the first MPJ and hallux. Depending on the thickness of the EVA material, this will raise the height of the first with respect to the second to fifth, but not fully block or reduce the first MPJ dorsiflexion in a mobile joint, unlike a polypropylene or carbon Morton's extension. Short term use of this modification can be used for acute first MPJ or hallux injuries or disease processes, including flare ups of gout or RA. Alternative options include a poron Morton's extension, a polypropylene Morton's extension, or a carbon Morton's extension. Behind the design, poron Morton's extension. This client needed a custom EVA orthotic with a poron Morton's extension to reduce the plantar tissue stress. The patient presented with hyperkeratosis under the first MPJ and hallux. They are an at-risk diabetic patient. The aim of this orthotic was to reduce pathomechanical function and reduce the plantar tissue stress on the hallux to reduce the ulceration risk. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the pour on thickness from the Morton's extension section of the finishing section of the Dollar Detail Prescription Form. A poron Morton's extension uses the cushioning properties of poron. It extends under the first metatarsal head from the medial longitudinal arch. It crosses the MPJ extending to the sulcus, or the full length of the hallux crossing the IPJ and beyond. The addition will match the width of the hallux following the anatomical flare. The thickness of the Morton's extension is prescribed by the practitioner. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three-quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell, or an extrinsic addition to a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A poron Morton extension provides poron under the first MPJ and hallux. Depending on the thickness, this will raise the height of the first with respect to the second to fifth and provide cushioning properties. This modification can be used for acute first MPJ or hallux injuries, sesamoid injuries, hyperkeratosis, or disease process flare-ups like gout or RA. Alternative options include an EVA Morton's extension, polypropylene Morton's extension, or carbon Morton's extension. Behind the design, Poron Reverse Morton's extension. This client needed a custom polyorthotic with forefoot cushioning and to provide sagittal plane facilitation of the first during gait. They had general forefoot symptoms, including functional hallux limitus and low gear toe off pattern. The aim of this orthotic was to improve sagittal plane function. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the pour on thickness in the reverse Morton's extension section of the finishing section of the Dollar Detail Prescription Form. A pour on reverse Morton's extension uses the cushioning properties of pour on. It extends posteriorly from the calc cuboid region, the width of the second to fifth metatarsal heads. It extends anteriorly crossing the MPJ to the sulcus or the full length. The pour on thickness of a reverse Morton's extension is as scripted by the practitioner, but it is of uniform thickness under all metatarsal heads. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell, or also applied to a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A poron reverse Morton's extension provides poron under the second to fifth metatarsals. Depending on the thickness of the poron material, this will raise the height of the second to fifth with respect to the first and provide cushioning properties. It can be used to improve first MPJ function by plantar flexing the first ray, help with functional hallux limitus, improve the windlass mechanism, and improve propulsion. Alternative options include a first metatarsal cutout, a first ray cutout, or a forefoot valgus extension. Note, the prescription of an addition rather than an in-shell cutout allows adjustment and removal based on the clinical effect. Behind the design, EVA Reverse Morton's Extension. This client needed a custom EVA orthotic to aid in the sagittal plane function of the first during gait. The patient showed signs of a functional hallux limitus and low gear toe-off pattern. 
The aim of this orthotic was to improve the sagittal plane function. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the EVA thickness required for the reverse Morton's extension in the finishing section of the Dollar Detail prescription form. An EVA reverse Morton's extension uses the material properties of EVA to provide more orthotic reaction force. It extends posteriorly from the calc cuboid region, the width of the second to fifth metatarsal heads. It extends anteriorly, crossing the MPJ to the sulcus, or goes the full length. The EVA thickness of the reverse Morton's extension is as scripted by the practitioner, and it is of uniform thickness under all metatarsal heads. It can be applied as an extrinsic addition to a three-quarter length poly, EVA, or 3D printed shell, or also on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. An EVA reverse Morton's extension provides EVA under the second to fifth metatarsal heads. Depending on the thickness of the EVA material, this will raise the height of the second to fifth with respect to the first. This can be used to improve first MPJ function by plantar flexing the first ray, help with functional hallux limiters, improve the windlass mechanism, and improve propulsion. Alternative prescriptions options include a first metatarsal cutout, a first ray cutout, or a four foot valgus extension. Note, the prescription of an addition rather than an in-shell cutout allows the adjustment and removal based on the clinical effect. Behind the design, arch pad. This client needed a custom polypropylene orthotic with a pour on arch pad for support and comfort. The aim of this orthotic was to support the foot, but with a focus on patient comfort and orthotic tolerance. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the pour on thickness for the arch pad from the finishing section on the Dollar Detail prescription form. Key features of the arch pad include, it uses the cushioning material properties of poron, while also supporting the MLA from the calc to the first metatarsal head, under the medial column. The poron thickness of the arch pad is as scripted and blends to a high point. This can be an extrinsic addition to a three quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell, or also an addition to a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A pore on arch pad is a dorsal addition under the medial longitudinal arch. Depending on the thickness of pore on material, this will raise the height of the arch and should be considered when prescribing your arch fill. A pore on arch pad can be used to support the medial arch, improve orthotic comfort and tolerance in a pes cavus, high arched or supinated foot, to increase the arch height or contour, to alter the arch high point position, or to increase the medial orthotic reaction force in a normal or laterally deviated subtalar joint axis. Behind the design, cuboid pad. This client needed a custom orthotic with a cuboid pad addition. The aim of this orthotic was to replicate the successful treatment directed testing for the lateral foot pain. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the cuboid pad in the midfoot addition section on the Dollar iPad prescription form. A cuboid pad is a dorsal addition. It is a pore on dome shaped pad placed under the cuboid. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell or used on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A pore on cuboid pad can be manufactured using a metatarsal dome. It can be made by removing the tail section to create a dome. This is useful for treatment directed testing. A pore on cuboid pad can be used to support the cuboid or lateral column for cuboid syndrome in some perineal pathologies or to create an orthotic reaction force lateral to the subtalar joint axis. Alternative options include a cuboid notch or a lateral arch pad. Behind the design, heel cushion. This client needed an aggressive custom polyorthotic with a pore on heel cushion for comfort. The aim of this orthotic was to support the foot with features for comfort and tolerance included. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the pour on thickness for the heel cushion from the finishing section of the Dollar Detail prescription form. Key features of the heel cushion include 
it uses the cushioning properties of poron. It runs from the posterior orthotic shell, under the calcaneus or heel, and blends into the arch. The poron thickness of the heel cushion is prescribed by the practitioner. It can be used as an extrinsic addition to a three-quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell, or on a full length EVA shell. Ortho tip. A poron heel cushion provides the cushioning properties of poron under the heel. This dorsal addition of poron thickness to the heel cup should be considered when prescribing your heel expansion or heel cup width, as it will require more room. It can be used for fat pad syndrome, chronic plantar heel pain, plantar fasciitis and bursitis, and can also be a key orthotic prescription or orthotic modification to improve comfort and orthotic tolerance. Behind the design, plantar fill. This client needed a super soft orthotic in the arch area with good rear foot support. They combined several different shell materials and applied these in different areas of the orthotic. The aim of this orthotic was to provide rear foot control and super soft MLA support. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected Poron from the materials option for plantar fill. They also selected the medial longitudinal arch area from options including total fill, medial fill or lateral arch fill. This was within the midfoot edition section of the dollar iPad prescription form. The plantar fill of an orthotic shell is an extrinsic addition. The area to be filled can be either a total fill, a medial fill or a lateral fill. A lateral fill is often called a Denton's modification. Material choice can be either poron or EVA, depending on the material properties required. It can be an extrinsic addition to a three-quarter length poly, EVA or 3D printed shell, or to a full length EVA shell combined with a planter grind. Ortho tip. Planter fill used to be popular before CAD CAM orthotics to adjust the flex of the orthotic shell. Now you can differ the flex by fractions of a millimetre rather than the 1mm increments used in traditional vacuum pressing. Plantar fill now is used for orthotic adjustment of the flex or shell attributes. Behind the design, Cluffy Wedge. This client needed a custom orthotic to help with first MPJ function and propulsion. They identified a delay in windlass activation using the JAX test and gait analysis. The aim of this orthotic was to address this delay in windlass function and to optimise its function. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the Cluffy Wedge Angle in the forefoot section of the Edition section on the Dollar iPad prescription form. The Cluffy Wedge is an EVA wedge placed along the length of the hallux at an angle prescribed by the practitioner. It will preload or pre-angle the hallux at the desired angle. Treatment directed testing is advised prior to prescription. Ortho tip. The JAX test can be used to assess windlass function. As the first MPJ dorsiflexes, the windlass mechanism should activate with little or no delay with as little force as possible. Behind the design, extrinsic forefoot extension. This client needed a custom orthotic to fit a specific sandal with a deep forefoot. The orthotic needed to replace the removable insole and match the forefoot thickness with a combination of variables. The aim of this orthotic was to replace the insole from a sandal and match the fit with a custom orthotic. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the EVA forefoot extension thickness in the extension section on the Dollar Detailed Prescription Form. An extrinsic forefoot extension can be prescribed with apertures, divots or accommodations or the extension can be left plain. It extends from the metatarsal shafts to the sulcus or full length. It can be added as an extension to a three quarter length shank independent shell or part of a full length EVA orthotic shell. It is commonly made from materials of either EVA or poron. Ortho tip. A forefoot extension can be used to blend with the medial or lateral arch profiles to stiffen the covering material, to fill space to match a shoe or insole, to add cushioning, 
to apply apertures, divots or accommodations, to address a wide range of forefoot pathologies and be combined with a heel raise to form a full length raise on a shank independent device. Behind the design, pour on forefoot extension. This client needed a custom orthotic with variables selected to provide general forefoot comfort. The aim of this orthotic was to focus on patient tolerance and comfort while achieving the other orthomechanical goals. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the pour on thickness from the extension section of the finishing section of the Dollar Detail Prescription Form. A pour on forefoot extension provides the cushioning properties of pour on. It can be prescribed with apertures, divots, or other accommodations, including cutouts and slots, or the extension can be left plain. It extends from the metatarsal shafts to the sulcus or full length, and can be an extension of a three-quarter length shank independent shell or part of a full length EVA orthotic shell. Ortho tip. A pour on forefoot extension can be used to help with patient comfort and tolerance of your orthotic therapy. It can also help with metatarsalgia or general forefoot pain, capsulitis, bursitis, neuritis, digital deformities, help with forefoot pressures and insole modification. Note, the use of a pour on forefoot extension will increase the thickness in the forefoot. Please ensure that the footwear can accommodate this. Behind the design, forefoot extension cutouts. This client needed a custom orthotic with a forefoot cutout in a specific location. They provided a template and instructions and marked the location on the cast. The aim of this orthotic was to provide offloading in a specific location as prescribed. They used the Dollar Custom Orthotic Service. They selected the cutout location in the forefoot section using the Dollar iPad prescription form. A forefoot extension can be prescribed with apertures, divots or other accommodations. The forefoot extension extends from the metatarsal shafts to the sulcus or full length. It can be an extension from a three-quarter length shank independent shell or part of a full length EVA orthotic shell. It is most commonly made from EVA or porum. Ortho tip. Forefoot extension cutouts can be used to offload an area, accommodate a rigid deformity, alter forefoot pressures, or alter forefoot function. You can indicate the location of your cutout by using a template or marking on your cast, impression, or scan. Note, an aperture is a full thickness cutout, whereas a divot is a partial thickness depression. For more information on Dollar Orthotics, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Access our Dollar Custom Manual at dollarorthotics.com.